Hello everyone, I'll be talking about how to construct frequency distribution table using qualitative data. In my previous uh, video, I talk about construction of frequency distribution table of uh, uh, quantitative data using Megastat. Now I'll be talking about still on Megastat, but on the construction of frequency distribution table from qualitative data. So as you can see in here, I have a data set. So the data, let me check here, data. Okay, here it is. So I have a qualitative data. And then my heading is uh, in terms of course, not in the in the university. So we have B is ed, B is ed, B is ed, B is ned, B is ed, so forth and so on, up to B till ed. And if you consider the total number of rows, the first row is the heading, and then the last row is number fifty five. So the total number of data is only 54 because if this is under row 55, the first row is the heading. So the total number of data is only 54 because 55 minus 1 will give you 54 because the first row is the heading row. And then we need to have the code. So we have BSN. So we have BSN. 1, B is ned 2, B said 3, B ped 4, B tilled 5. So I have the coding. So we have all of these uh, must be coded. And then after this, we click on, we click on uh, data. Then we can find megastat1. So we click on data, we can find megastat. Then uh, once you see the icon for Megastat, uh, you're going to click on the script uh, frequency distribution and then click on qualitative data. So when you click on qualitative data, you can find this dialog box. The cursor is blinking already in the input range. So in the input range, uh, put the cursor to the heading of the data and then uh, drag this down. So drag this down up to the last data. And then transfer the cursor to the specification range. And the specification range would actually refer to the codes that we have. So B is ed 1, B is ned 2, B is ed 3, B is ed 4, B is ed 5. So highlight the first one, then drag it down up to the last code. Then check on histogram so that we can see the histogram and then click on OK. So there you are. So once you click on OK, you can find already frequency distribution, qualitative. So we have course, B is ed, B is ned, B is ed, B is ed, B is ed. So we have frequency 26, 9, 2, then 17, total is 54. The percent is also provided. And then the histogram is also provided uh, in the generation. So that's what we are going to consider. But uh, let's go back to the data. Suppose I'm going to change. You know, I'll have here first one, two, and then three, and then four, and then five. And then the coding for this is so equivalent to. So I'm going to copy that one. So. So we have now the reverse uh, coding. So if you notice, the first one is the acronym and then the number code. This one, the number code, then followed by the BEZ. Let's uh, find out what will happen if we interchange the coding. So I'll generate the frequency distribution. So I click on Megastat and then click on Frequency and then click on Qualitative Data. 
And then uh, I'm going to reset. I'm going to clear the one. So I'm uh, starting from the course, uh, then going down to the last row. And then I'm going to transfer it to the input range, the coding, the new coding. We start with the numbers. And then I'm going to check on the histogram and then click on OK. So what have you noticed? So we have here, since we have the numbers first in the coding, so what will appear in the frequency distribution is uh, the number. One, two, three, four, five. So the number provided. And then still the frequency is the same and the percent is given. The histogram is actually given. But practically, this is not the one that we are going to look into. We want that the course would be the exact acronym of the course. So you have the idea already on what will happen if uh, the the number would come first or the exact uh, name of the data would come first then followed by uh, the coding. So let's have another example. So for this example, it's all about single statutes. So, and then uh, we have the coding. We have single and then married, widow, widower, separated. Then we have one, two, three, four, five as the codes. Take note that the data that we have encoded are in terms of numbers. Unlike in the first one, that the data are in terms of uh, this one, data one, in terms of uh, the specific acronyms. But in here, in terms of numbers. So, so uh, let's click on megastat, then still on frequency distribution, and then qualitative data. So I'm going to click on the civil status data. So that should start from the column heading up to the last one. Okay. So the last one is 265 row. Then I'm going to click on uh, the codes. Uh, that is the specification range. So we have the code. Let's go back to the code. Okay, here it is. So we want that. Our data would be in terms of this single married widow. Widow we are separated with the codes one, two, three, four. So we have here. And then frequency, uh, I know the histogram must be checked and then click on OK. So there you are. So we have now the frequency distribution table. So we have single, married, widow, widower, separated. The frequency is provided and the percent is also provided. Then we have the histogram. So take note that when you know, we want that uh, our data in the first column in the frequency distribution is the actual data that we have then we are going to code that one as the exact data that we want to see in uh, the frequency distribution followed by the number codes so let's look at look at again data number two so we'll have this coding one two three four five and then single married widow widow where then separated so i'm going to click on mega start then frequency distribution, then qualitative data. So I think it's actually the same here. And then let's actually change the coding. So we start with the number codes, then going to the actual data that we want. And then click on histogram, then click on OK. So there you are. So you notice that uh, the civil status is in terms of the number codes. Uh, still the frequency and the percent the same. The histogram is the same, but uh, we have the number codes. But this is not what we want to find out in our frequency distribution table. We want to have the real data in terms of civil status, not the number codes. So it is not understandable.
So with this presentation, you know already how to calculate frequency distribution for qualitative data and be careful on how are you going to make the codes. So as an exercise, based on the video, I want you to copy all the data that I have for data one. So with the codes, and then for data two, copy all the data. And so with the codes, both uh, coming with the, the number codes first and the exact data, or we have uh, the exact data and the number codes. Now for data one and then data two. Then I want you to generate that one using Megastat, operate that one. And while operating, providing the outputs, I want you to take a screenshots of all the operations for data one and data two using the frequency distribution table for two possibilities. No? Number codes first, then the exact data, then the exact data, then followed by the number codes. And you are going to show that one to me. And then once you have the screenshots, you are going to upload that one into the stream of our Google Classroom. And then you are going to label that one as the, the, the frequency distribution construction of qualitative data using Megastat. So that's the exercise of this uh, uh, video. And uh, an exam will be provided also in our stream. And just uh, take note on the deadline of uh, the, the screenshots not to be uploaded into the stream. So I'll give you today until tomorrow. Okay, so thank you very much. So deadline would be tomorrow, but uh, you can have it today and then until tomorrow midnight. Screenshots and the exam, I'll post that one later within the day. So keep in touch with the classwork of our Google Classroom. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching.